I want to tell a story. A story in the body. Some stories require the body. They can't be told without movement. Text just won't do. The one I'm thinking of right now that really requires the body is I was recently in Istanbul. If you think of this as the European side, and this is the Asian side. I took a ferry to Uskodar, northern part of the Asian side. Some guidebooks will tell you one of the most conservative areas in Istanbul. They have a lot of mosques, but I don't know if that makes them more conservative. I showed up at Sakaran Mosque at a noon prayer not a Friday noon prayer, thank goodness. That would be the most holy of all the prayers. I wanted to see the mosque, both the outside and the inside. I went in the wrong entrance. I took off my shoes and I put them in a cubby, but it was the men's entrance and the men's cubbies. And I had my head wrapped, I had my long black coat on, and I sat behind the line where the visitors usually sit, but I didn't read any of the signs. But then I looked around and I saw everyone was a man except for me, and people were looking at me with sort of a rushed agitation. They were kneeling. One man got up like this and looked at me, and I think he shook his head or tried to point. That's when I went, oh shit and I got the hell out of there. There's a side entrance of that mosque that goes upstairs and there's a viewing area above. That's the women's area. There were two, one on the left, one on the right. Oh, to the one on the right, there were more women there. They were putting on these long skirts, wrapping their faces, and taking their spots, usually in kneeling. Some sat like this. Maybe some sat cross-legged too, but it was hard to tell underneath the giant skirts which were provided. And I sat in the back against the shoe cubbies like this. And I wondered if I was showing too much of my legs, which was this much. I had my long coat on. But it didn't feel right to put on the skirts either, because that seemed to be for people who were actually going to pray. And I had decided, or I thought I had decided that I was not going to pray. I had come to observe. I think we in the West have made up this position of the detached observer. I carry a camera, I carry a notebook, I carry a pen. These are my instruments. These are my weapons. These are my badges, my permits, my mode of separation. And I put a wall up, a wall of inquiry. And it makes me safe, it makes me protected, and it makes me not part of it. And several women have tried to gesture to me and talk to me in Turkish. They were here, so I'm going like this to me while I sat back here, and I said, no, you know, I'm fine, as much as this gesture could say. I was just here to watch, to observe. But then, the muizm, or is it the imam, down below, in the men's section, started calling, and it was time to pray. And everyone got up. And so I got up. And everyone put their hands like this, like this. And I did it too. 
And maybe it's because I've been in a lot of dance classes. And when everybody gets up near you and starts doing some movement, I know that I need to be doing it. I've prayed before in times of distress. It's probably when most of us liberals pray, right? Um, and this was not like that. This was doing the ritual, and I was an imposter. But I was also really in it. It was like this, and then it was like this. And everywhere around me, the soft muttering of people praying quietly to themselves. Uh, 